Many a man has looked to the sky and asked himself one question. Which is better for gaming? Core 2 Duo or Core 2 Quad? Today we will answer this question in the only logical way I know how. With a death match! A Team Duo, we have a 745 tower powered by a Core 2 Duo E6300 running at 1.86 GHz. And from Team Quad, we have a 755 desktop powered by a Core 2 Quad Q6600 running at 2.4 GHz. Both have the same RAM and operating system and both will be running off the same R7 graphics card to keep things even. Straight off in Minecraft, it is clear the extra cores are really helping out, with the lowest from Team Quad being double that of Team Duo. A clear win for Team Quad. In Bioshock Infinite, it seems that it, it is our graphics card holding the two CPUs back, as frame rates were almost exactly the same, with Team Quad's average just being a slight bit higher. We'll call this round a tie. But last of all, in Killing Floor, the scores were really quite close, with the average on both teams being exactly the same, and it's really only the low and high ends that are different. But Team Quad edges its way out into victory. So Team Quad is the clear winner of today's deathmatch, and it is clear that the Core 2 Quad is far superior to its dual core brother in most games, but as we saw in Bioshock Infinite, getting a better graphics card will always help your CPU to spread its wings a little more. If you have an Optiplex like these two, check out the Asus GTX 750 as it is a single slot card that requires no power connector and should handle 1080p better than the R7 we use today. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or queries, please do pop them below. And if you like this kind of goofy computer content, please do like and subscribe. And enjoy the rest of your evening.